Hey guys, I'm back on LEGO Pirates of the Caribbean bringing you guys another collectibles guide. This is the final level in Film 1. <clears throat> and this first one's right in the beginning. Uh, you have to get those, uh, the boat here, and uh, I had a lot of trouble with that. It was kind of glitching on me. Both times I tried it, so um, yeah. That was, just don't be surprised if you have a lot of problems with that. But up here is a parrot. And back there was also a uh, Jack Sparrow compass thing. And up here you have to shoot this thingy and come over here with a female character and hop up. And hop up again because you missed it. And then grab that. And uh, a little bit further on you're going to find another parrot. And there's only one more of those left. And up here is the final parrot. And you got all those down for a mini kit. Or a chip in a bottle and uh, this is in the next area there's a hidden skull mask and then uh, right in the same area you're also going to find um, a fish <laughs> uh, and after you get this cutscene where the uh, it shows those ice crystal things you have to come over here with a character that can scream um, I think I used Serena or Serene or something like that, but switch to her and blow this up, go through here, and then you're going to want to swim all the way up here, and over here on the right is a big contraption thing, and you basically have to spin these so that the colors match up, and uh, once you get both the reds on there to start, you just push these things in and it's going to blow up that... Uh, uh, square thing and you're gonna do that with all the colors there's three so far and once you get the third one it's actually going to uh, switch it's gonna drop three more in that are secondary colors so you have to mix two of these to blow them up so like for green you'd use yellow and blue and uh, this one takes forever but eventually you blow them all up and you should get a ship in a bottle number four and then you're just gonna run right over here to the left for the next one and uh... need Jack Sparrow and you're going to switch to him, switch out to his compass and you're gonna find a golden dog and uh, I'm not sure why you need that but then you hop up there with a female character and then the ship in the bottle is going to appear down there, so you just grab it. After you fall off the edge like 10 times. And then right over here to the right, you're going to switch out to Jack Sparrow. And picking up this coin thing actually like makes you, uh, gives you the ability of walking underwater. So you're just going to pick that up and go down there. And that way you can use his compass while you're on the ocean floor. So first you have to find this... Uh, mask thing so you're basically just gonna walk all the way over there and pick it up uh, after you switch to you have to switch to a character that can normally walk underwater because when you pick this up you're gonna drop the coin which would cause you to float back up to the top so you should pick this up and very 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 slowly walk over here and put it on top of this guy's head and that will give you your next bottle then over here to the left, underwater, there's a, kind of a, another secret hidden cave within this secret hidden cave, so you're just going to go out here. And after I get lost, I wasn't really sure where I was going, but um, come over here and hop up onto the dock. And then you're going to switch to Jack Sparrow and use this compass to find a giant purple clam. And then it's underwater here, so you just switch to... You have to have a strong character that can also go underwater. I use Davy Jones. I'm not sure how many other ones there are, but this guy works for sure. So just use him, pull open the clam, and grab the next bottle. And this is back up on the dock in the same area. You're going to switch to Blackbeard. Use him to blow that up. And uh, use his ability to reassemble that. And um, run over to the right, grab the... Uh, um, torch and light the cannon 
And then you have to blow up all five of these ducks, which is much easier than a lot of the other mini games, so just blow all five of those up. And it's going to spawn a mini kit over by the ship. So you just run over there and grab that. And uh, this next one, um, <laughs> I don't know what was going on with this, but uh, for what? Well, all right, first you have to blow this up. But um, then you s I used this female character. I'm not sure if that was my problem, but for some reason I had a lot of trouble climbing up these things. And, like, it didn't seem to want to get me up to the next one, but, uh, eventually, when you get to the top, you're going to slide down this thing, and I also had a lot of trouble with sliding down that thing. But, um, if you're lucky enough to do it in one or ten tries, you're going to grab the thing there. And this is back in that main room. Uh, you're going to blow up some, uh, glass, on, or the ice or whatever on the right side, and then get them into this secret room and use a character with explosives to blow up this uh, treasure chest. And inside, for some reason there's a guy in there, I'm not sure how he's still alive, but... Alright, and he wants a, um... thing. So you're gonna come over here and get said thing. You have to get Jack Sparrow and grab that coin so you can go underwater again. And use your compass to find the spyglass which is also the last compass item on its level. And, uh, you need a character with a shovel, so I actually had to go back up and get my character with a shovel and then re-grab that coin. And then you have to have a character that can normally walk underwater because you can't actually, uh, grab that with the coin in your hand. So you do that and then grab it, come all the way back over here, and hand, after dropping it, you hand it to this guy, 4, 10 out of 10. You actually have to drop it. If you don't drop it, you don't get it. So, anyway, uh, this is back in the hub. Um, I blow that up, and it's actually going to give you a gold brick for having completed all the uh, collectibles on all those levels. But, um, this is me sailing the ship. Um, if this video helped you out, just give me a like or a subscribe, and uh, thanks for watching.